you'll see this with Max Track radar. You actually have to look pretty closely to see kind of the specks of yellow and green, especially for our eastern areas. A couple of additional pockets of rain have started to pop up along areas of Highway 75, but otherwise, most of this has been pushing to the east, and it's not looking all too impressive anymore. Even as we zoom in on it for you, it's just a few clusters here and there, just kind of sporadic, not doing all too much, but these did quickly pop up, as you'll see with satellite and radar, and are also quickly racing off to the north and northeast, losing some of its luster, though, not seeing quite as many lightning strikes with it anymore, just some spotty rain mainly as this continues to push off into Missouri. But as future track shows, by 8 a.m., it has us nice and dry. Maybe some lingering showers for our eastern areas. Otherwise, that's it. We start off fairly cloudy across a good portion of the region, but we will break into some sunshine throughout the day today, and your daytime will be dry. Late tonight into early tomorrow morning, some of our northern areas, especially closer to the Kansas-Nebraska border, could get clipped by some additional spotty showers and storms. Nothing all too significant expected out of that. Otherwise, we'll see a few more clouds. I think for your uh, Mother's Day as a whole, still breaks the sunshine at times, but we are dry during the day. However, as we get closer to sunset, so if you're thinking of taking mom out to a late dinner, you may want to take the rain gear just in case. That's when a few additional spotty showers and storms could start to develop and last into the early morning hours of Monday. Otherwise, we catch another break in the activity, but late Saturday or Monday afternoon into the early evening is when another round of showers and storms start to pop up. Otherwise, we are tracking a cold front that is draped over the region right now, and you can see who's kind of getting the cooler air behind it. Upper 50s to the north, with still some 70s to the south ahead of that front. It's 73 here in the capital city, 69 for Emporia, and 68 in Council Grove. Winds also show you where that front is. For those ha that have gotten behind it already, a light north breeze. Ahead of it, a stronger south wind, still at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And this front plays a factor in our temperatures, but it doesn't really move much throughout the day today. Stays kind of lingering over our northern areas. That's why places like Marysville, Barnes, Seneca, I think you'll stay into the 70s and low 80s with mid to upper 80s, even some pockets closer to 90 degrees to the south and southeast. That front tries to sink further to the south during the nighttime hours tonight. That's why I think most of us wake up slightly cooler for tomorrow, mainly 50s and 60s, and then that front retreats up to the north again. It will be cooler for our northern areas for Mother's Day. Another warm and humid day to the southeast, though, for Mother's Day tomorrow. High temperatures for today. Again, cool cooler for some of our northern areas, a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. We'll see some of that cloud cover increase for tonight with that slight chance of rain close to the Kansas-Nebraska border. Otherwise, we're calling for a low of 63 here in the capital city. A look at your Mother's Day forecast during the day. Again, we are dry, just some peaks of sunshine, but another warm one, especially here in the capital city, calling for a high of 88 degrees with a light south wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. A look at your KSNT Storm Track 7-day forecast shows that slight chance of rain late on your Mother's Day turns into better chances of scattered showers and storms throughout the course of the work week next week. But even so, we stay on the warm side with temperatures primarily maxing out in the 80s.